It's Optimus Prime for the holidays, featuring a snow-flavored color scheme. Welcome to Retrobot, the YouTube channel where we feed a friendly space robot a diet of pure nostalgia. I'm Clay, and today we are talking about Holiday Optimus Prime, and here we have the box, and you can see it's a very festive snow scene featuring Optimus Prime with his red and white snowy whatever stuff. It says Transformers. There's a snowman over here. Isn't that nice? And, and there's some Christmas trees, and there's an uh, Autobot sign, and a picture of Prime, and look, look, there's even a gift tag. Huh? Huh? There's, there's a little gift tag there so that if you're giving this to a loved one, then you don't even have to wrap it. You just put put their name over here. And uh, we've got Optimus Prime there and more Christmas tree there. And then we have product shots here and uh, and then gobbledygook and and more more stuff there. So that is the packaging, but of course we want to take a look at the toy, which is right here. And there he is. The uh, the coolest thing about this is that this is a brand new mold for Optimus Prime, and I I'm going to use some air quotes around brand new because. It seems like they're still sharing some geometry with previous versions of Prime. Uh, it's not a big deal. Actually, honestly, I don't mind that they've been reusing geometry to create new versions. Uh, if, if we get cool toys out of it, then if that helps them meet the bottom line, then hey, more power to you, Hasbro. I, I'm all in favor of clever engineering, so... So yeah, uh, here it is. He has a, a, a new truck mode, which looks really cool. And it is done with a red and white motif. And it's made to look like it has snow all over it. You can see that there's like snow kind of painted on here, or pro probably the red's painted on to white plastic, most likely. But uh, it, there's a lot of white plastic here. But it's kind of made to look like it's got snow, and you can see that like there's snow here, and then it's a candy cane pattern along the truck, which honestly, when I first saw it, I thought that these were cans of Coca-Cola that just didn't say Coca-Cola on them. I, I, I really want it to say Coke on there, or, you know, maybe Crim Zeke or something. But uh, but no, it is supposed to be candy cane stripes. And then we have an Autobot sign here wearing a Santa hat. Isn't that cute? Look, it's a Santa hat on an Autobot sign. It's like the Autobot sign can wear a hat. So there we go. And, uh, and we have the truck here, which is a cool truck. Uh, the truck has a really, really long... Uh, uh, tractor here like like this this is a big distance and just to, to give a little bit of comparison you can see here on Earthrise Prime that uh, that he's actually much shorter in the back and then the connection point for the hitch is up here and so in order to make him still look decent when he's towing the Earthrise trailer, which, by the way, this is just a repaint of the Earthrise pr trailer. No new geometry here whatsoever. But uh, what they have done is they've just added this little piece, which uh, which just comes right off, and then, then it goes like that. But, you know, I guess they felt like this is a, a really big gap, and they didn't want to have that big gap, but... Uh, but so you have this little piece which goes in there, which you can use if you want to. If you decide that you don't want to, it's okay. It's your toy. You play with it the way that you see fit. And let's see that. That just goes right, right, right in there. Just like that. And, and, and there we go. Uh, so I will say that with the longer longer wheelbase on this. The trailer actually looks really good because one of the things that I've never really liked about this trailer is the vast amount of empty space underneath and this fills some of that empty space. So it, it actually looks pretty good and of course the red and white looks fantastic. 
So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer because we've got it and we might as well show show what you're getting. You're, you're paying for it, wh whether you want it or not. So, so there is the trailer and it does have those little props that allow it to stand up on its own. And of course it does fold open like the original Gen 1 Optimus Prime trailer just like that and then you have the uh, the repair drone thing which is right here and that folds up like that and let's raise the camera so that you can see what's going on here we have gun storage right here there's actually a number of five millimeter ports just as it had in the earth rise trailer because as i mentioned before this is the Earthrise trailer, just done with a profound amount of white. It is so white. My, I have had to turn down the exposure on my camera about seven levels just to be able to shoot this video. And even now, it kind of wants to wash out. Um, my, my, my criticisms here, again, is that there's just not a whole lot going on in this trailer. I wish that there was something... Like, like you've got this thing that that can kind of come off and then one, once you lift that up, it's just flat. You know, th there's a lot of molded in detail here, which uh, which looks very cool, but there's there's no stuff. I want there to be stuff and there just isn't as much stuff as I feel like there should be for uh, for a battle platform slash mobile command center. And so, yeah, uh, I, I've always liked that that this little thing can come off and you can put it in other places or you can peg it onto Optimus Prime. I mean, that, that part is cool. I, uh, I only recently realized that you can do this. Uh, I think I was watching an MGO video and he did this. And it's like, oh, crap, I didn't even realize it did that. So he's got a little shield thing and it's got the connection ports which uh, which will connect to a number of other uh, War for Cybertron toys. I uh, you know I think there's a lot of MicroMaster base type things that that can connect with, but it does not connect with any of the stuff from the Prime Wars trilogy because Hasbro is jerks. Um, you know not not always, but the decision to change that pattern. Uh, for for the new line, that's a that's a jerk move. So uh, of course that's the trailer. Let's set the trailer aside. We want to look at Prime. We've got Prime. He's it's Prime time. And and look, I can do this here. I can I can do I can do that. Yeah, yeah. There there. Look, he 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 can have like a little little drone guy. It doesn't really. You know, it, it, it goes in there, but it doesn't stick, which which is unfortunate. I, I want it to stick, but it doesn't stick. So anyway, all right. So we have Prime here, and like I said, this is a new truck mold, and and in general, this truck mode mold looks really, really nice. I actually really like that it's very, very long. It's different. You know, it's got different proportions. Uh, it's got a little bit more of a swoopy front. I think that this is like a Volvo style truck and uh, and that's cool. I, I really want to see this repainted with an Amazon delivery truck logo and uh, and then it would be Amazon Prime. <laughs> see see what I did there? It would be it would be Amazon Amazon Prime because you know Amazon has that service Amazon Prime and then you know instead of Optimus I'm I'm sorry I uh, I, I didn't get much sleep last night and it uh, it makes my brain not work very well. Anyway, so uh, so here he is, and we want to turn him into a robot because that's his job. So let's turn him over. Uh, so one thing I'm going to point out, uh, I have seen in other videos that uh, that people will talk about visible head syndrome and the face being right here to say hello. Well, um, you can transform it with the face 
tucked up where you can't see it unless you open this panel. Like if you open the panel, sure, that there, there it is. Hello, but it is uh, it is covered here. I guess uh, I guess the way that I have it transformed, the panel isn't snapping shut as securely as it would if I had the face exposed here, but it is an option. And, uh, you know, with the exception of, uh, of this not really snapping closed, I, I don't, you know, and, and I don't know how well it snaps closed. I guess I could like, here, wait, let, let me, let's just find out on this video live on camera. Uh, wait here, I guess I have to do something with the arms in order to, to mess with that. Okay. Well here, we're going to partially transform it. So I'm going to start by pulling out these side pieces right here. And then I'm going to bend the arms at the elbows and then pull the arm, the shoulders out like that. And that's going to give me the ability to bend the whole back of the tractor trailer. And now, now we're going to find out, I'm going to rotate his face around and then put this back in there so that you do have visible head syndrome. And um, yeah, okay, so the difference is that this little panel does does completely close, whereas when I have it faced so that you can't see his face, uh, this this doesn't snap. So, so there you go, there's the difference. Uh, if you don't mind a little bit of Optimus Prime face on the underside of the vehicle, then hey, do that. If you do mind it, then just whirl it around because honestly, that it's not that big of a deal either way. So anyway, we're turning him into a robot, so that's what we're doing. We have pulled the shoulders out and then we need to deal with the legs. And the legs is really where the cool engineering in this toy comes to life. Um, so in order to do that, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. We do want to take this panel here in the back. We'll take the, uh, the smokestack here off to the side and then we'll disengage the legs and press this panel back that way. That's Prime's chest. So we'll get that out of the way. And now we can start dealing with the legs in earnest. We will fold, so let's see, we're going to fold these panels out. You see these things that we pulled out to the sides, they're going to go out and out of the way. And then we're going to pull the top of the truck out and we're gonna spread the legs out, okay? Just kind of get it to do a split here and spread the legs out. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to take this sort of, this black panel here, and you're going to fold it that way. And then you're going to take the front of the truck, which is the grill and the bumper, and you're going to twist the whole thing. There you go. Twist that out of the way. And then that brings the leg forward. Now, before you start putting things back together, twirl it around and then with your finger poke up in here so that you can get these feet to come down and then the feet have three sections there's the toe section right here the middle section here and then you've got a heel section right there and that folds out to give you a foot and so now you're going to take this side section here fold it all the way in and then take this panel and snap it up into place and then we're going to take the front grill here, we're going to rotate it forward and then we're going to bend at the knee all the way, just like that. We're going to bend this the rest of the way and you see how there's a little groove right, right here. There is a groove right there that is going to nest in here. Yeah, there's a little notch right there or a, a little tab right there that is going to tab into this little slot and it doesn't lock in, but it just fits. It fits like that. And then that gives you a very nice leg right here. Yeah, you've got a very, very nicely designed leg with a lot of transformation stuff that happens to get there, which is pretty cool. And uh, so let's go ahead and do all of that again. We've got the leg on this side and we are going to pull the grill out and away. You see it rotates right on the bumper piece right there. We're going to take this black piece out and away. We're going to straighten the leg, rotate around. We're going to poke up 
through to get the foot pieces to come out. We're going to point the toe. We're going to flip out the heel, bring that down, pull this panel all the way in, and then this comes forward like that, and then snaps up like that. And then we take our little piece here. Once again, we're going to bend the knee just like that, bend this here, and have this little, this little slot right here in that position so that when we put this black shin piece here, it engages with that to make a cool looking knee thing. Now, the last thing is, is you need a cod piece. The cod piece just kind of snaps up right there and now you have robot legs. And they're, they're pretty good looking robot legs. That, you know, he is tall, he, uh, he has some nice stance, and there, he's done. Oh wait, here, there, he's done. He's not done. So we're going to take the arms and we're going to snap them up like this, just like that. And then we're going to take the whole, this whole assemblage here, We've, we've got a whole bunch of stuff here that has to happen. So let's uh, actually, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take these out. You know, what? I'm gonna take those down for just a moment because I need to be able to move stuff around. So we need to take this whole assembly here, and you you remember how this this little door was uh, was snapped shut? Well, I need to kind of get it to snap open. I need to get it to snap open. It doesn't want to snap open. Here, wait, I'll get a spudger get my spudger and spudge a little bit there come on you can do it you can do it there okay so snap open the door and then this whole this whole carriage which look at that he's got double tires back here that's great so we want those to come back and then this is going to do a fold around thing and you see how the the, t the whole back end assembly is rotating right around this axis right here. So that's going to fold up like this. The mud flaps are going to click down and go in between the tires there. And then the whole thing, there's a couple little tabs right here. And those are going to tab in to these little slots right there. So those are gonna close up against that. And that creates the back of the robot mode. Now we can take these little flaps here. These are like little mud flap things and we can fold them down. And now we click his chest into place and we raise his arms. There you go, raise your hand if you're sure. And he's raising his arms. He doesn't have his hands out yet. So there we go. There we go, and then we rotate the head, and of course we do need to expose the fists, so we open up the arms, and then we pull out the fists. This is exactly the same method as in Laser Optimus Prime, which, uh, which is one of the dead giveaways that, uh, that they're reusing the geometry, uh, but it's fine, because he's got good looking arms, and that's, that's him. Now. In my uh, Peaks and Pokes video, I left him transformed like this. This is wrong. So uh, go ahead and watch that video and see if you can tell what's wrong. I'll give you a second to pause, go watch the other video, it's only three minutes long, and then come back and tell me what's wrong. Okay, now that you've had a chance to check. I, there, I forgot to do that in the other video. So there you go. You can make fun of me in the comments at the other video for transforming him wrong because I, I transformed him wrong. But uh, yeah, he has his grill there. And uh, then, uh, then you know, a little, a little squish, you know, just to, to make sure that everything is squished together appropriately. And you have Optimus Prime looking very, very Optimus Prime and festive in his Christmas colors. And of course he needs a candy cane blaster. So we have the blaster here and then we fold that and uh, 
and I believe that this is, uh, is this the Earthrise Blaster, or is this the Siege Blaster? I don't know. Uh, this is not a new mold for the Blaster, but, uh, but it is a new color scheme. Look at that. It is very festive. So he can be like, pew, 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 pew. And then you can, of course, one of the advantages of the Earthrise uh, uh, trailer is that this thing can come off. And then you could put that on his shoulder if if you want to. I mean, he's got he's got little pegs. You know, he's got five millimeter ports all over. So, so you know, you can you can do stuff like this if uh, if you want to. You know, look 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 at that. He's he's got a drone on his arm, and and he can be like. How you doing, drone? And the drone can be like, beep boop, bop boop. And he'll be like, oh, that's very interesting. I didn't know that you knew how to say beep boop, bop boop in English, but whatever. And so there he is. Now, when we talk about articulation, I'm getting that off there because it's silly. Okay, there we go. So uh, in articulation, his head goes, no, and his head can go, yes. He's got a shoulder joint that goes all the way around. There's a little bit of interference from the wheels back here, but not a lot. His arms go out, his arms go in. He's got bicep rotation. He's got a, uh, a 90 degree bend at the elbow, and he does have twisting wrists. He also has a waist twist, and he can do the splits, which is great. And of course, it's important that he also be able to do the Ministry of Silly Walks. There we go. And then we've got thicep rotation. So yeah, 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 he can, he can do that. You know, a little, a little wiggly. Yeah, right, like that. Uh, he's also got, he's got a double joint here, but it doesn't really do anything in terms of giving his knee more articulation. It's really just for the transform. He's got about a 90 degree bend. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I've got pieces that are, that are falling off here. This is, this is his, uh, his back, his trailer hitch piece. Let's, let's snap that back on. There we go. So, so he's got a 90 degree bend at the knee and then he's got, uh, you know, he, he's got the thigh step rotation, which we showed. Uh, he's got ankle tiltage, which is important. We like our ankle tiltage and he can also tip his toe so he can do that as well. So, you know, overall, um, He's, he's a very nicely articulated figure with, uh, with some great detail. And let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so that you can see him in all of his glory. Because he does have glory. He has plenty of glory. Look at him. He looks great. He's a very attractive figure. I like this mold. I will say that he comes off feeling a little bit skinny. Like, like, he doesn't feel light, he doesn't feel flimsy. I mean that because his Optimus Prime chest is all facade, and then it's just kind of skinny in the midsection here, that he literally feels like he's a skinny guy wearing a chest plate. So, you know, I mean, it's not a big deal. Uh, I like that he's that he's tall in stature. I don't think that he's any taller than the other primes, but he just feels taller. I think because some of his uh, some of his limbs, like his arms and legs, they just seem seem a little bit longer. And then it seems like he has very long legs here, possibly because of the length created by the uh, these knee pieces that angle up and then these long shin pieces. Uh, but yeah, he's pretty much the same size as the other primes. He just feels a little bit tall and a little bit skinny. One thing that I do notice though, is that we've got, yeah, we've got the, the front half of the truck on his feet here. And I really want these to be the feet. I, I just feel like these these should be the feet. They, they look like they should be the feet. And there's a part of me that wants to just like reverse the waist here so that the truck can be there. I'm, I'm sure that, that would probably screw something up. 
and uh, and my suspicion is that uh, then he wouldn't have much of a, uh, a of a knee joint because then these would be going backwards rather than forwards. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, you'd you'd, you'd run into issues there. So I'm probably not going to change anything, but uh, but it does seem like uh, like these just scream big robot boots. But no, they're they're just big robot heels. Not even heels because you know he's got heels down here. I I, I don't know. They, these look like feet. They should be feet. So, uh, yeah, there he is in his robot mode, and overall he does look really good. I have no doubt that we will be seeing this mold again, probably in several ways because uh, I, I expect that this is going to be used for Hero Optimus Prime from Transformers Generation 2 in the Legacy line. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping this year, or, well, I guess uh, this year is almost over. So I'm guessing that in 2023, we are going to see this mold used as Hero Optimus Prime. And uh, that version of Prime, it, it had an air bladder that shot a missile. It did not have a trailer. So, you know, maybe no trailer, uh, which honestly, I've got I've got so many of these at this point, I, I don't really need to buy another one, especially when I wasn't all that impressed by the first one during Earthrise. So, yeah, that's it. That is, uh, that is Holiday Optimus Prime. Uh, he's cool. Uh, one, one other thing that I should mention, he does have a Matrix. The Matrix comes out. Look, you can take the Matrix out. It's it's the same Matrix they've been using for the last several primes. Uh, in fact, I suspect that that the engineering from this chest, much of it came from previous Optimus Primes. The problem, in, and uh, Laser Optimus Prime had this problem as well, he doesn't have opening hands, so he can't hold the Matrix. There, there's no, no, no holdy the Matrix. It's like El Matrix O No Holdo. So uh, that's that, that's as good of Spanish as I know how to do. I, I, I'm terrible at foreign languages. So uh, so yeah, he can't hold it. And personally, if, if you're gonna put a matrix in there and I understand, you know, they do, the, the hands that open, I think that they, they took up just a little bit more space. And of course, they required a pin and an extra assembly. It, it costs more to make hands that open. I, I get it, okay? I'm, I'm not going to, to get, all, get all huffy because Hasbro decided not to make the hands open, although I do really like opening hands. I, I, you know, it makes the, it gives the, uh, the character when they're in their robot mode the ability to express more than just Oh, I'm going to punch you or shoot you if you put a, a, a gun in my fist. So I, I, I prefer opening hands. But if, but that aside, um, you know, just mold the matrix so that the bottom doesn't connect. Uh, big convoy, and uh, and the version that I had, which was Nemesis Nemesis Prime as a woolly mammoth. Uh, had a matrix, and I believe that that matrix just had handles on the side that could peg in, and then character could hold it and, you know, be like, light our darkest hour, or, you know, be a MacGuffin, or whatever. So, uh, so yeah, if you know, if you're gonna put the matrix in there and you're not gonna have the hands open, hey, just take off the bottom. I, I realize that it's less screen accurate, but, I mean, we're, we're making changes to guys all the time. Transformers is an evolving, an evolving franchise. It is not static. Dare I say, it transforms. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you can keep that, Hasbro. Mm -hmm. That one's for free. So, so yeah, uh, overall, really liking Holiday Optimus Prime. I'm glad that I've got him. He, he's, he's novel. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to imagine how he fits into anyone's headcanon with the rest of the characters, but hey, he's Optimus Prime in Santa Claus colors. What, what's better than that? 
Okay, admittedly, an, an Optimus Prime in evil black and red colors is better than that. But this is still fun and cool. And so, with all that being said, we are a small channel, so if you like this review, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs out because thumbs down because uh, you know any interaction helps. Uh, so, but but then my feelings get hurt and I weep silently in the corner of a dark room. But you know, off camera, so you won't get to see it. So um, anyway, yes, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and when you subscribe, click the notification bell so that you know when we're doing more short circuits reviews like this one, or our peaks and pokes reviews, which are super short, where we take a quick peek at a character and we poke at him. And of course, our live streams, which happen typically every Friday night at eight o'clock Eastern United States time. So, uh, with all of that being said, we, uh, we, we also do have a Patreon, Patreon which, uh, which you can join with different commitment levels and different rewards for those levels as our way of saying thank you to our patrons. And when I think about thanking our patrons, I want Unicron to come out and thank our patrons. Unicron, come on out and thank our patrons. Thank you, patrons, our ultimate retro heroes. Thank you, Fetchbeer, Robus, Matt White, Starhound, Setsune Wave, Dawn, Hope and Michael D, and Colleen. And now, in celebration of the holidays, I would like to sing a timeless Christmas classic. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. I'll eat your planet and all your people and maybe your native. I, I don't know what just happened, but I feel a little bit dirty because I was here for it. So, uh, yeah, uh, Holiday Optimus Prime, there he is, and, uh, and he's actually really, really cool. So, yeah, this is Clay and Prime telling you to keep it retro! But, yeah, um, let's just remember not to let Unicron sing, ever, under any circumstances. Never. Really shouldn't have happened.